issue that is popping up now between Wumi and Darusha. Wumi is very, very much confused. How is Harifa getting all this information? Darusha alone suffer me, Wumi. Make I tell you. Now Darusha, they tell me everything. Where they happen to you, Wumi? Nothing they happen inside the house with Darusha, no, they talk. Now Darusha, they come out, come tell us. Darusha, they talk to us. Darusha, they tell us everything as they be under your roof. Now Darusha, let us know, say, you know, come off for Lekki, you day inside Lekki, you day mobad house. Now you they tell people, say, eh, may they not allow anybody to see you. Now Darusha, let us know, say, if they reach your house, they no gates. Police go search everybody, collect everybody phone, keep for gates before they go inside. Now Darusha, they tell bloggers everywhere, say, Wumi is directly involved in Mubad issue. Now Darusha still tell us, Wumi, how you and people with disguise like police, they go disconnect the DVR, come out the main camera where they, some places, put another new camera there. Darusha, they open your yarn, she come outside. So no grief for Darusha. Remember 2024, no grief for anybody. No grief for Darusha. Women, no grief. And in you need to. Or can you need ballet? Eh, hey, need so little. Could you believe that these people, Darusha, Wumi, and Co, they team up with some set of people, maybe they are real police or not, but police in disguise. The third day after they bury Mubad, the third day when the protest was kind of, you know, not that serious, but trying to come up. When the protest was trying to come up, the third day, according to information, the third day, the Russia Wumi and some set of people disguising to the police went to Mubad house to disconnect the CCTV and reconnect some that is why they have to take away the dvr but look how foolish they are imagine how daft they are is that the next step to take when you really be bare or won't call you go if you fall when you get the share the solution i mean they call the edge come out no when i think say as you go disconnect cctv on that season, I be the next step. That's not the next step, man. Because they know that the company, Mariani, because they know that the software of the DVR may be with the company. They escape Mubad. They carry Mubad come all dear. Fat and beautiful lie. I don't know what these people are hiding. I don't know. The kind of collaboration with the get on top of this mobile at mine, I don't know. These people are so artless, extremely wicked. But their own no even pay me. Slatan, in the next two, three years, mobile go over, take them. Nobody go won't listen to Slatan. Now mobile, everybody go here. You understand? Upon say them that they are alive, how many of them? You see, when you want to envy, envy human being, it they better make you envy human being. No, they envy glory. It is better to envy human being. Don't envy the glory. Because when you envy human being, it will be easy to you to bring the human being down. But when you envy the glory, you they envy God. You think say Mubad a joke? He never died. The thing we come happen after when him buy, he don't sing him down. Kini mo she don long paro Insta blog tumba won paro. Who be the first site we publish the fact that Mubad died of uh, air infection? No be Insta blog. Insta blog Naija. Insta blog Naija. You understand? So, all these things, 
they just have to do the right thing at the right time. They say na hair infection, chemo bad. Na Insta blog, Insta blog. It's on bango paro. Imagine. Insta blog in bango paro. Insta blog. They follow them, lie. They help them, lie. Envy human being, not the envy glory. Slatan, no envy mobad. In the envy mobad glory. You think save mobad no day again. Now you go be the next thing. On a musical style, looks alike. Abi, on a no even know why. Shekbeteri, on a thing say, he like mobad. She no like mobad for any reason. Because, a girl where well, Mubad used her name as one phrase inside one of the music. Timba beg bo mo mo magbe mi na do no shekpe teri yo no shaku shaku. The house on July 24, 2023 in Manchester, New Hampshire. The type of mortgage that she bought is not a traditional mortgage. She used something called a purchase money mortgage to buy that house. What does purchase money, uh, money mortgage mean? What that means in essence is this, listen, you know, a purchase money mortgage is a mortgage issued to the borrower by the seller of a home as part of the transaction. What that means in plain English is that this is usually done in situations where the buyer cannot qualify for a mortgage through traditional lending channels. Rem let me repeat again. She bought a house in Manchester, New Hampshire on July 24, 2023. The sale amount, the sale amount was $425,000. Typically, you will be you depending on the if you qualify for a uh, FHA first time home buyer loan, you're only required to put five percent down payment. If you go through the traditional or conventional loan, you'll be required to put twenty percent down. That's the maximum to put down to buy that home. She did not go through the traditional way to buy this house. She used something called a purchase money mortgage where the seller made a deal with her she purchased this property for 425,000 but the mortgage is 305,000 what that means is that she gave this seller $120,000 cash she gave this seller $120,000 cash for that woman to be able to make her get this purchase money mortgage. $120,000 cash is 28% of the sale price, $425,000. So the reason why I'm saying this, so, uh, me, I'm doing my research. That is why I wanted to know the dates that Boba, me, I believe oh, they've been planning some things behind the scenes. That petition that he put out there expedited the process. To buy him and in between then they have been the people that they have here in diaspora they've been what are that na, na bitcoin money they've been channeling money to these people to be able to lay some things down for them to carry out this plan oh. karimo as well karimo recently disappeared from this state and moved to a different state i'm continuing my own independent research but th that's one thing i wanted to bring down to your attention because the timing is very very curious tanwa owolabi I, I, I'll pause for now. Continue, sir. But for Tanwa Wolabi, I have a very, very detailed report. It's a 20-something page long report. So if you, if you can send me an email, uh, email address, I can forward it over to you when the time is right. But continue. So, it wasn't what's uh, just been done all of a sudden. It's a pre-plan. So, from my uh, my research, 
I find it very curious that the so-called people around Mubad were not in the country when he died. Iyam Mubad was not in the country. Samlari was not in the country. Naramali was not in the country. His manager, Shei, was not in the country. Uh, Belashmoda was not in the country. How coincidental that all of these people automatically were not in the country when this guy by they've been planning this thing they've been sending money to diaspora they've been buying some properties they've been doing all of this strategically god will continue to give me wisdom and grace imole thank you thank you for the courage god will continue to give me wisdom and grace to continue this independent research i'm doing there are some things i'm doing that i don't want to say too much but when you brought up that uh, petition i was very i was my spirit tell me saying when did he file this petition june 27 2023 how curious a month literally a month later time i go buy a house you know use traditional mortgage you go put one hundred and twenty thousand dollar down because they had the cash to buy this house in diaspora if you carry too much money they go won't find out where the money come from but because they make a deal with the owner of that house that they bought it from they use something called a purchase money mortgage this is usually done in a situation where the buyer cannot qualify for a mortgage through traditional lending channels. Arifa, carry on, sir. Carry on, sir. Carry on, Arifa.